probably, if you're sitting here, it may have entered into your consciousness this question of who am I? Maybe it seeped through occasionally. It's a strange question to most people. But for a yogi, it's, it's very reasonable and probably the essential question. There are probably, probably many levels of who I am, but I'm gonna express four levels. There's the you, let's take my case. There's, there's the me that was born to Hubert and Lee Pleva, Caucasian male, November 17th, 1951. I had pretty bad asthma, probably it's like a psychological disease, so I probably, not probably, I had a number of neuroses. I met my guru to be in 1969 at Woodstock Music Festival. I became a Swami. I still had neuroses, but now we call them limiting some scars. <laughs> and uh, soon I'll be tottering, as he says, and then they'll box me or fry me in the not too distant future. So that's that's one level of me, the physical personality level of me. And then the me that's been traveling for a long, long time. I don't know how many long comments there should be. It's more than probably you realize. Long, long, long time. Through different species. I was an anteater. I got tired of the model diet. <laughs> I was a wombat. I like I like being in Australia, so then I became a kangaroo. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through my early human births. I can't talk about that at the ashram. <laughs> And through these different bodies, I was gaining experience, learning lessons, my desires were evolving. So you can say the soul, soul me. And then there's the me that hasn't been learning lessons, we touched on it, was never born not evolving, not, there's no time. That me could be thought of as the embodiment or the manifestation of peace, what we always say, peace and joy, love and light. But this fourth me, he is more like what he's talking about, Triguru was talking about tonight. When people would go to Sri Ramakrishna over here and say, can you uh, tell me how I can find God? He would ask them, uh, which God are you looking for? Are you looking for Saguna with qualities or Nirguna without qualities? The Nirguna me It's probably closer to the, the Buddhist prayer. Gatte, gatte, parasam gatte, parasam gatte, bodhiswaha. Gatte means beyond, beyond, beyond. Para, para means beyond the beyond. And some, parasam gatte means 
Forget it. Beyond that, even that. <laughs> Swaha means wow. So that me isn't even, has no quality. You can't say I'm peaceful, he's joyful, loving, luminous. That would all be taking away, it wouldn't be, it would be a basic lie about trying to give words to that me. So I'm leery of that me. I don't even know if that me will, will be aware it, ex it exists. Sometimes I try to imagine that me, I say, oh no, I'll stick to the peace and joy me, love and light me. <laughs>